This has to be the pettiest YouTuber on the platform. You know what? This might be one of the stupidest dramas I've ever covered in the channel. And instead of being an adult and apologizing or doing anything that a smart person would do, she decided, oh, I'm going to be the victim. I'm going to turn this around until I, I'm being harassed. My main grievance was her insistence to create new rumors and slander about myself, one topic, and others after we left, and how she wouldn't leave us alone. All right, welcome back to another episode of Bad Haircuts. In this video, we're going to be talking about a channel called Illuminati. Now, not like the organization Illuminati, who manipulates, you know, lies and controls. Actually, there's not that much difference. This person is a commentary channel's wet dream and I had mine last night. Now, if you didn't know, Illuminati is a female YouTuber who does the most unique videos on the platform. Documentaries. Now, if there's one thing you need to know about her is when God was handing out brains, she thought he said milkshakes and she asked for hers extra thick. But there's been recent beef going on between Illuminati and a YouTuber called Eagle Weagle. Legal Eagle. Eagle Weagle. <laughs> Now, Eagle Legal is a very successful lawyer who decided to come on YouTube and share his expertise, and he's doing really well. Eagle Legal, say it three times. Eagle Legal, Eagle Legal, Eagle be blah, blah. But Eagle Legal's editor messaged Illuminati via email just to ask a very polite question. Hey, Blair, I work as an editor for Legal Eagle, and I was wondering if there is some After Effects plugin you guys used for the things like the intro. We would recreate it, but we figured there was probably a faster method you guys were using. Basically, the editor was asking Blair if they can have the After Effects plugin that she used for a certain effect in one of her videos. Uh, if not, don't worry because they'll just make it from scratch. That's what they said. Seems pretty reasonable, right? However, Illuminati disagreed. She went to his house and slaughtered his entire family with a samurai knife. <laughs> She didn't. She wasn't happy about it. She tweeted the following. So yeah, I went through my emails and found this was just outright saying, yeah, I'm gonna do this, but if you could make it easier for me, I'd appreciate it. And after that, she accused him of copying her work. She released a thread of evidence. So let's check it out. Illuminati tweeted example A. It was her banner with the paper rip effect and his banner paper rip effect. <gasps> you didn't copy the paper rip effect. How could you? You should know she owns that effect. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble now. <gasps> the paper rip effect. Please don't sue my channel. Example B was one of her videos where she was highlighting text and Legal Eagle's video highlighting text. Oh boy. Oh God, no, please, I'm gonna have the shits now. I can't believe you copied the Illuminati style of highlighting text. You should be canceled. In fact, every high schooler should be canceled also. Look. Look, Illuminati, it's highlighted text saying you're a massive freak. First of all, the paper rip effect, you know, I'm pretty sure that's probably in the Bible somewhere. Many YouTubers, in fact, I think my banner when I was 12 years old had the paper rip effect. Second of all, the highlighting text, um, everybody does that. Any documentary channel you watch does that effect, so... Unlucky, you're not original. She then followed up with this. And to be honest, I wouldn't have believed any of this was trying to replicate my videos, if not for the email and Discord stuff that was done preemptive to their video coming out. Like, talk about, can I copy your homework? Yeah, but just like, make it a little different. Shake my head. All right, you big puss. So remember that, everyone. Big puss just said, can I copy your homework? Yes, just make it a little different. Remember that phrase. Like, in that moment, she really thought she'd done something there. You know, like, made history. Yeah, made history looking like the biggest tit of 2023. But from this point, everything gets a lot more serious and intense. For me, entertaining, but let's check it out. Legal Eagle responds, Hey Illuminati, I think it's a big misunderstanding. Perhaps great minds think alike. No one on my team is trying to copy you. Without an exhaustive review of your channel, I believe we used those two styles before your channel did. We used them for three to four years. Plus the two styles, paper ripped and highlight, are extremely common on YouTube. The editor you're talking about didn't even design either of those two elements. Again, we used them for three to four years at this point. Legal Eagle is completely correct about this. He is the god right now, okay? You've just got ass fucked by the legal eagle. However, this next bit is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, seriously, I I thought about this all day yesterday. Here you go, Illuminati. It's time for your tablespoon of medicine. Hypocrisy. <laughs> Blair was making a documentary and she was like, you know, 
can I copy your homework except make it exactly the same? Someone dug up a video that she made where she copied someone word for word from the script. This is fucking awesome. Hugh Fudenberg. Professor Fudenberg has long been controversial. A man named Hugh Fudenberg, a former immunologist who has been long controversial. In 1989, he was caught up in a bizarre lawsuit involving the Food and Drug Administration, which told him he had to stop injecting his autistic child patients with blood products. In 1989, he was caught up in a bizarre lawsuit with the Food and Drug Administration, which told him he had to stop injecting his autistic patients with blood products. Then in 1995, he was suspended from practicing medicine and made to pay a $10,000 fine for his misuse and misprescribing of controlled drugs. Then in 1995, he was suspended from practicing medicine and made to pay a $10,000 fine for his misuse of prescribing controlled drugs. Blair. Like, talk about, can I copy your homework, shake my head, but just make it a little different, or exactly the same. I mean, talk about plagiarism and the hypocrisy, oh, it's so sweet. You guys know that I love hypocrisy, and this thing is by far the top for me. The, the, this is the pettiest shit that I've ever heard in my life, but you know what? It's the best also. After all this drama came out, a lot of people started talking about it on Twitter, and there's a lot to talk about, so stay tuned. But firstly, I want to say, subscribe to the channel, everybody. We want to reach 100k this year. Come on, let's make it happen. Join the channel memberships, and also leave a super thanks. Or else, me and Nova will be gone forever. Illuminati used to be involved in a collaboration group known as Sad Milk, and one of the members, known as The Click, came out and spoke about her, because apparently everyone, she displayed similar behavior. The Click came out and released a huge thread completely slating her behavior. One of the things she would do is lashing out at friends and fans paranoia and generally poor anger management. Eventually, I believe pretty much the whole group left her. Someone copying your editing style? Well, that's the paranoia right there. The last meeting I ever had with her, she spent half an hour, I think, hard to know, screaming at me for an array of random things, calling me a bad friend, lazy, and a bunch of random accusations that didn't really have anything to do with me. Well, Illuminati, I've got some news for you. You're a bad friend for screaming. Second of all, you are lazy. Look how many editors you have on your channel. Pull your thumb out of your ass, all right, and edit your own videos, you know? Do some real work for once. <laughs> I want you to keep in mind also that these are all, you know, allegations. They're not facts. So we're just going off what it says on Twitter. I'm feeling dizzy, I'm gonna pass out. Oh. I left along with several other members, half of the group at the same time. She spent the next few months spreading lies and half-truths about us on the Sad Milk Reddit page and vague posts on Twitter. I still have the screenshots. When people started asking questions that maybe she was the reason everyone left, there was a very convenient updigging of 11 to 14 year old videos of me. Stuff I made back when I first started my channel in 2009 when I was a teenager. And as you can probably guess, some of the jokes from that time aged like milk. I publicly owned up to my past mistakes and apologized, doing my best to try and be transparent and honest about my past. Wow Illuminati, look at you, completely vulnerable that you have to dig up videos from 11 to 14 years ago. I'm really disappointed. This just goes to show what kind of person she is. I mean, digging up some bad jokes that were made 11 to 14 years ago. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, you bastard, you aren't you? Who actually cares what jokes are said on the internet? If you get offended by jokes, you seriously need to have a look at yourself. Stop being a snowflake and cheer up, all right? It's the internet, it's not real life. He said someone was fat, I'm really offended. Who gives a shit? But the question is, why did she do this? Well, she was trying to spread some rumours that everybody left the group because of him, not because of the dysfunctional, completely unhinged Illuminati. This was maybe an attempt to get people to assume I had been kicked out for poor behaviour, rather than leave because of her own behaviour. For example, some people left comments on the collaboration channel saying, good that click left. They obviously got ratioed hard, as people were there for the creators. She would manually go in and delete the ratio in comments, but leave the original hate comment. I was still a YouTube freshie at the time, and she was quite intimidating, claiming connections and clout, reputation and powerful friends. So everyone stayed mostly silent, and had to constantly look over their shoulders for the next year. Wow, threatening people with her connections. Clout reputation and powerful friends. Sounds a lot like the real Illuminati. Aw, oh, Blair, you have powerful friends, do you? 
I guess I should be really scared then. Cool, so everybody left Sad Milk because of Blair and her behaviour, but at the time she tried to manipulate everybody to make it think everybody left Click because of his old videos. But no, 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 it doesn't stop there. Let me demonstrate how petty and how much of a snowflake this Illuminati person is. She did a show with Tommy C and a few other YouTubers where they would frequently make videos together. And you know, they were all in this together, so everybody had access to the channel, everybody had access to the data, anybody can go in, make videos public, reply to comments, etc, etc. You know, it was open to them. It's basically all of their channel, pretty much. Now, here's the best bit. There was a fat joke made on that channel. Now, Blair didn't like that. So she went into Tommy C's channel and she removed all the videos containing her. She didn't even ask the blog for permission. She just went into the channel and removed all of them. And you know the best part? The fat joke wasn't even about her. And it really bothers me that I'm never going to get to see those videos again in order because not only are they drama news videos, we did skits and stuff in between them and we worked real hard and it says, you know, Illuminati deleted my videos over a fat joke. I didn't even tell the fat joke. Like, I have literally nothing to do with this. <gasps> How could you call someone ugly? I can't believe it. I'm gonna remove all the videos from your channel because I'm so pathetic. <laughs> Woo! Get fucked! But everyone, you must understand that Illuminati has a kind heart. She's a very kindred soul. She's very kind, happy, and very loving. She doesn't want people to be upset. Why did she make jokes about people's mental health? Tipster was really upset one day and he was stressed. So he released a tweet explaining that he works hard and he feels like he puts a lot of effort into his videos. Well, Illuminati for some reason decided to jump on and take the piss of his anxiety. So well done Illuminati, once again. Why don't you just take a big spoonful of fuck you? <laughs> also feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to deliver. For example, I have had a literal breakdown last night when I ran into <laughs> tech issues while trying to stream. As fun as making videos is, all this pressure to do my best only results contributes to even more stress. Tonight, <laughs> I had the worst anxiety attack of my life. I didn't get much sleep last night due to staying up all night editing videos and further resolving the previously mentioned tech issues. I worked overtime at my daily job today and work got so busy that I didn't get a chance to take lunch. During the drive home, I began to hyperventilate to the point that I had to pull over and get out of my car to breath. After a few minutes, I thought it was okay, so I got back into the car and proceeded to drive home. This process repeated two more times during the course of the entire drive home. As much as I love making videos, I feel like I am seriously putting too much pressure on myself to give you all my best. <laughs> you see, that's the best bit, everyone. Someone makes a fat joke, Blair goes in and deletes all the videos containing her, and then she makes fun of someone with mental health. So, which one is it, Blair? But it's okay, because Tipster laughed about it, he found it funny, so... That's pretty good. You can see that not everyone is a lost cause on the internet. If you want to see an extra dose of pettiness, you're in the right place because more pettiness happened. After all this shit was going down and people were making videos about it and everything, um, you know, <laughs> can't even talk about this without smiling. Man. The great Queen Blair was not happy with the videos people were making on her. So because there was some artwork used in the thumbnail, um, she used that as a way to try and take down the videos. Sounds a bit like Lily Jean there. <laughs> a viewer of Illuminati made some fan art for her and that fan art was used in someone's video. So Illuminati decided to DM that fan and say, Oh, hey, I uh, just want to let you know, did you give this person permission to use your art in their thumbnail? Because they've got it there. Uh, if you didn't give him permission, you should file a copyright strike. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for letting me know about this. No, I did not grant them permission to use my artwork, especially not as a thumbnail to lure people in with. Send me a link to them or their channel name so I can take care of it. Again, thank you for so much for bringing this to my attention i apologize for it causing an issue for you as well sorry i just that's just how i assume illuminati's viewers sound and if you are a viewer of illuminati why do you sound like that <laughs> you don't like a video that someone made on you calling you out for your bullshit so you decided to use your fan as a way to try and take down their video. Hey, vi hey viewers, someone just used your art in their thumbnail to make a hate video on me. Why don't you go over to them and copyright them? <laughs> if you want to see part two in this video, just let me know in the comments. But I thought I'd talk about it because I love pettiness and hypocrisy. So uh, if you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, join the channel memberships, and um, you'll see my fat ass next time. <laughs> You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.